it's Nicole Dove, and today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial breakdown on how to program your Space Whip Remix and Glowcap from GlowFX. Now GlowFX did a really awesome job putting together the programming guide that comes with the Whip, and they also did take some feedback from the community and tried to make it a little bit easier for you guys to understand. And if you're a visual learner, like myself, then you probably took to their YouTube channel and tried to watch their video on the programming guide, which I do have as a link in the description below this video. If you do want to check that out, feel free. Others of you out there are probably still a little bit confused, and that's totally okay. I have some new terminology that was shared with me from a friend of mine that works at GlowFX, and it did make it easier for me to understand, and it made it even easier for me to be able to explain to all of you. And since it did click with some of you in the community out there, I wanted to make this video and just kind of share this information with you. So hopefully this helps it make a little bit more sense. Now, if you don't have your whip on you and it's just nearby or something like that, go ahead and pause the video now and go grab your whip because it does make it easier for you to do the programming of your whip with the side-by-side -side instructions of the tutorial. All right, now that you have your whip, let's go ahead and program some really awesome new mode. If you have your whip turned on like me, go ahead and start with the whip turned on. Now, whenever I start my tutorials, I do like to start with showing you guys a master reset. When I first started programming my whip, I got some pretty funky colors in there. So I just wanna show you this as step one. So with your whip turned off, you're going to push and hold the button until the whip turns red. An easy way to remember this is red starts with an R, reset starts with an R, so red for reset. Now, when the whip turns red, you're going to release that button. And now when you press the button singularly, it's going to turn green, and then it's going to turn red again when you push it again. Now, green means that you're wanting to exit out of your reset mode. So if you accidentally jumped into this and you wanna back out, click the green and then push and hold the button. Now, if you do want to fully reset the whip, then you're going to cycle through to the red option, and then you're going to push and hold the button until the whip turns a magical new color. And now your whip has been reset. So the next mode that I want to talk about, or feature I should say, is the lock feature. And this one's really awesome because when you're traveling, you don't want to turn on your whip in the bag, and so definitely use this feature whenever you pack away your whip. To enter into a lock mode, first turn off your whip, and then with the whip off, you're going to push and hold the button until the whip turns green. Your whip will flash a couple of times and then it'll turn off. Now, if you notice when you push your button singularly, it does not turn back on. Now your whip is in lock mode. To get out of lock mode, you're going to simply just double tap the button. It'll blink green a couple times and then turn on. Now your whip is out of lock mode. So now let's dip into the fun programming awesomeness of the Glow Effect Space Whip Remix. So with the whip off, you're going to push and hold the button and release on light blue. Now when you push the button, it'll cycle through about five different light modes. The programming guide calls these color sets, and this is where I like to use the terminology folders. So consider that each one of these light modes is a folder, and by selecting that light mode, you will then select whatever colors that you program to that folder. Now remember, GlowFX can program any three of your favorite colors from the 36 options that they have. So let's say, for instance, I want to program this light blue folder. So to select the folder and continue the programming, you're going to push and hold the button until the whip turns light pink, and then release. An easy way to remember light pink versus blue is light pink. Pink starts with a P and programming starts with a P, so you're going to release on light pink. Now your whip is going to flash light blue until you decide to push the button again. This means that you can program your first color into the whip. So go ahead and cycle through the 36 different options, and when you get to the color that you love, push and hold the button and release when it blinks. You have now selected your first color. To select your second color, do the exact same thing. Cycle through the colors until you get to the one you like, and then push and hold the button and release when it blinks. Now your third color selection is the most crucial one because if you push and hold the button too long, you can accidentally program a brightness that you may or may not want. So keep in mind if you ever want to control the brightness level of your whip or you feel it might be too dim, then try to go through reprogram your colors and when you get to the third one, what you're going to do, I'm going to select, that eh, looks pretty good. 
Now, when you get to your third and final color, then you're going to push and hold the button and do not release. It'll blink a couple of times and then you'll see it'll go through three different brightness settings and you're just simply going to release the button on the brightness that you'd like. And now my whip is programmed with the brightest setting. Now what's even cooler about this whip is that it does have a memory function built right in. So what that means is, is that when you program your folder and then you cycle through whatever light modes you have, whatever the last light mode is that you had kept on for that folder, you will naturally go to first when you select that folder again. So let's say for instance, I wanna program the light blue folder to be rainbow mode when I select it. So cycle through until you get to your rainbow mode, which rainbow mode is at the end of every single folder. No matter what you program, rainbow mode is always there for you. So when you get to the rainbow mode, go ahead and turn off your whip, and now let's try it out. So push and hold the button and release on light blue. And now you're back to your five different color folders. And now cycle through, or I will cycle through, to the light blue option, which I believe is this one. This one. And then push and hold the button, release on light blue. And now I immediately went back to my rainbow mode. Now you can program any of those five folders to be whatever custom color combos that you decide. So it makes it easier for you to be able to cycle through and be able to go back to any color palette that you guys created at the switch of a button. Now let's say for instance, I want to stay with this color and I do not want to exit this color. That's what the one mode feature is for. So what you're going to do is when you have the light mode and the color that you want, push and hold the button and then you're going to release on blue. Now, every time you push your button, your whip will either turn off or on and it will not leave that light mode. To get out of one mode feature, you're simply going to press and hold the button when the whip is on and it'll blink light blue and now you're back out of your one mode feature. The second part of this tutorial is going to be how to program the glow effects glow cap. So the glow cap programming is pretty similar to the whip programming. It's basically the same thing. It's just you don't have five different color modes or color folders that you can program with your own color combos. You just have the one folder with three colors, but you still have the same 36 colors to choose from. Now let me start this walkthrough on the glow cap programming with the glow cap turned off. So if you do have it on, go ahead and turn it off. The first thing that I want to show you is just like with the whip, how to master reset the glow cap. So with the glow cap turned off, you're going to push and hold your button until the glow cap turns red. When you release, it'll blink a couple of times and now you'll notice that the colors have been reset back to the factory settings. So now let's say that you want to lock your glow cap so that it doesn't turn on accidentally in travel. You're going to, with the glow cap turned off, push and hold the button and release on green, just like with the whip. And now you'll notice that if you singularly push the button, the glow cap will not turn back on. Now you're in lock mode. To get out of lock mode on the glow cap, you're simply going to double tap the button very fast. And then it'll blink a couple of times and then it'll turn back on. Now let's talk about the programming of the glow cap. So with the glow cap turned off, you're going to simply push and hold the button and release on this yellow color. It'll start to blink a couple of times, and now you can go ahead and cycle through all the different color options of the glow cap. By selecting your first color, you're simply gonna do the same thing that you did with the whip, and when you get to the color that you want, push and hold the button until it blinks, and now you've programmed your first color. For the second color, it'll begin to blink again, and that means you can cycle through to the second color of your choice. Just push and hold the button again, and program that second color. Release when it blinks. Now you're on your third option, and just like with the whip, the third color means that you can control the brightness setting of the glow cap. So go through and cycle through to whatever color that you would like to program. And when you get to that color, you're simply going to push and hold the button and continue to hold as it cycles through its brightness settings. Release on the brightness that you would like. And now your glow cap is fully programmed. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's tutorial. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps YouTube creators out such as myself, knowing that you guys watch all the content and it gives you first pick access to anything that I create.
If you do have additional questions, definitely feel free to list them in the comments below this video and check out the link in the description to access GlowFX's creative content directly from their YouTube channel. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. So much love sent from me to you. And until next time, happy flowing!